Welcome back to Matchroom Bets. We've already heard from Steve Davis about some of the players he fancies, but there's some players we haven't heard about. Steve, what about Jimmy White? Will do. Fantastic to get to the Crucible. He's got one more match to play against Mark King, but I think it's probably a, a bridge too far to actually uh, get him over the line in the World Championship. Probably had his best years, but uh, playing for pride as well. Mark Williams. I mean, it seems like he's... Is he done? Well, he's struggling. He was dominating a while back. He's got a new cue. I don't like the cue. It's a bit different to what he's had in the past. I think he's going to struggle to play with that for another couple of years yet. Um, at the moment, he's trying to get back to form. But he is practising. He's practising, yes, but the problem is he's trying to climb the mountain again and work out where he, where, how, he, how he did it first time round instead of just going for it. Um, I don't think uh, competitively he's got the momentum at the moment. How about Hendry? Stephen Hendry, same problem. He's looking over his shoulder a bit as to what's happening to his game. How does he get back to being number one? How does he get back to winning form? And he's monitoring himself a bit too much. He's not just going for the throat like he did. He's effectively lost his superiority complex and it's difficult to get that back. It may only be a couple of wins away, as he says. He's been practising well. But at the moment, I can't see that much of a transformation to get him to beat the likes of a Ronnie O'Sullivan or a Mark Selby or a Stephen Maguire who seem to have the bit between their teeth. What about Ken Doherty? I mean, uh, is he doing something right these days? Ken's still a great player, did very well against uh, Sean Murphy in the, in the Masters Championship, made three centuries in four frames. Ken's biggest problem, I think, is perhaps he's a little bit under spec power-wise. It's a power game these days and perhaps a little bit too inconsistent, but he's still always there. He's a crafty player. Don't think he's going to win it, but he can always cause problems for players. It's not the type of player you want to back against, Ken, because he can turn you over as well as... He plays a lot of close matches, Clever player. Clever player. Back, don't don't bit, get involved with Ken. Don't back <laughs> matches with Ken. He can cause you problems. OK, some of the heavyweights. Uh, I guess Maguire and Murphy are like big names these days. Maguire looks the real deal and could easily win the World Championship at 10-11 at at to 1. Great bet. Um, and he's in the bottom half of the draw along with Mark Selby. They're the two players who seem to have an easier path to some degree. Mm. Sean Murphy, uh, gone off the boil a bit for me. Um, I don't know where he's going wrong. I think he's trying too hard fractionally trying too hard. Great cueist, could easily come back to form, but once again, same problem, won the World Championship, then all of a sudden trying to get it back again. It's not that he's playing badly, he's perhaps just over trying to improve a bit too much. If he just relaxed a bit more, I think he'd just fly a bit more. And I mean, uh, this Neil Robertson, he's showing a lot of, of uh, great potential anyway, isn't he? Same problem for Neil Robertson as Sean Murphy. Had a very good season last year. Trying to emulate that again is the hardest bit. Climbing the mountain for the second time is the hardest bit. At the moment, he hasn't got his finger on the pulse like he did last year, but uh, still a great player to, to play against. But I, I don't see him winning it this year. All right, so you give me a lot of players not to bet on. Who, who's your money on? Um, Ronnie O'Sullivan, if he hits form and if he looks in good mental shape. What's the best indicator? His interviews afterwards, if he, if he looks relaxed in his interviews, uh, press interviews, and seems to be relaxed around the venue, and you're only, you're only going to know that from his press interviews, OK, he's good to bet on. But for me, Stephen Maguire could be the, could be, could be the dark horse of the, of the well-known favourites. He's, he's got a lot of hate in his body, effectively, <laughs> in the nicest possible way. It could be his time to win it. But also Mark Selby. You, know, you, you may look at John Higgins... Ding Jun Wee, Ronnie O'Sullivan in the top half. Everybody talking about those players winning it. But somebody comes through from the bottom half, Mark Selby, Steve Maguire, mugs everybody. Did that help you find your edge? I'm going for Maguire. Hope it helped you.